Hi, my name is Darcy Small and I'm from OnlinePCWizard.com. Now what I'm going to do today is show you how to use an incredibly cool piece of software. I use it personally all the time, which is VSO's Convert X to DVD. Now the reason why this is so great is because I believe in usability. I believe in the ease. Nothing too stressful, nothing too fancy looking, just something that does the job and it basically is one, two, three and it's finished. Now here we are and I'm going to basically show you how to start with this program. As you can see I've opened it up already here. Now what you want to do is go to file and you want to add your video file. Now this actually does support quite a good amount of video files, AVI, MPEG, you know, MP4, what's not. Now what I want you to do is look for the file where your movie is stored. In case I already have a shortcut here, look for it and open it up. Now when it opens, as you can see there's a nifty video preview window here as well so you can actually see the movie, totally view it while the movie is converting. But I wouldn't totally encourage you to do that right now because it'll basically slow down it just a little bit. You probably wouldn't notice it, but it, your your movie may finish convert uh, extra five minutes, seven minutes earlier than if you have the actual video preview window open already. So I'm going to just close that. Now, as you can see here, we have the file. It's telling you how long the movie is which is like 90 minutes it's giving you all of the information here what's not English so forth you can click this box to see all the other information now this is already provided for you but it's not something that you really need to view or change what I want to do before I actually click that convert button is let's go to the settings and let's make sure that you have your convert X to DVD totally optimized for your best performance. I'm going to go through these tabs one by one. Here we're at the general tab. It's going to ask you where you're going to be storing your converted movies. You can leave that as default. Remember last folder open, flip preview. Um, the rest of these is okay. You can leave it. Language, okay. Chapters, you can change how long you like each chapter to be because it's all it automatically puts in the chapters for you so I can say mm, 15 minutes and we go on DVD menus I basically leave it as it is um, sounds video processing I leave it as is the only major thing you'd probably want to change here is your specification depending on which region you're in if you're in Europe then you might want to leave it as PAL NTSC USA the Caribbean certain other places leave it as NTSC so depending on where you are you put it there and burn-in that's the next most coolest feature this can actually burn the DVD for you as soon as you finish converting it so you can leave the tick as burn result to DVD just leave your blank DVD inside the CD or DVD burner whichever and you can give it your name whatever name you want to name it it's no problem what I do is I remove delete the folder after successful burn this is because if you burn a DVD and for some reason it doesn't come out or it doesn't work properly or say the disk was scratched for instance because the program works perfectly suppose the disk was scratched then you may lose all of your work you know what you just converted so I just remove that tick and that's basically it okay actually do you want to save do you want to create it because it's not there just click yes do you want to apply the new settings to the current project? Yes. All you need to do now is click the convert button. And there we go, it started already. You'll just want to minimize this window and basically leave it there. When it's finished, it will automatically start to 
burn the compilation that has just converted. So once you have your blank DVD disc inside of your computer, then that's it. It'll just pop out and you're finished. Good to go. And thank you very much for watching. My name is Darcy Small from OnlinePCWizard.com. Do have a great day.